<laughs> Good morning and welcome back. We're here with Sergeant Clark Parrott and we're going to talk a little bit about graduation season because that is obviously in yes. full swing an exciting time for all of those graduates, high school, college, whatever it may be. What is the biggest thing that you guys see, the highway patrol, that you guys see during graduation season? Uh, a lot of inexperienced drivers, mm -hmm. uh, you know, with baccalaureate and graduation practice and having to get to school early and late and, you know, their schedules are really full and inattention. Mm -hmm. So we, we just encourage people to make sure that you're slowing down, especially mm -hmm. around the schools and, and that sort of thing. And be mindful that there's going to be a lot of folks coming in, family, yeah. for the weekend. And the fact that it's coupled with Mother's Day, by the way, shout out to all the mothers <laughs> out there. We wouldn't be here without them. Right. But it's going to be a very busy weekend. Uh, I know of at least 11 graduations Holy cow. Uh, just in the high schools yeah. in Southeast Missouri. So there's going to be a lot of family in town for Mother's Day plus the graduations. Mm -hmm. And we just encourage people to make sure that they're doing everything safe and, and, and sober. Right. Uh, but use patience. And, yeah. you know, it seems like we kind of talked about the same, the same thing or the same message. But I'll never get tired of sharing no. that because th this is a wonderful weekend graduation, as you said, mm -hmm. whether it's high school or college. And we want to make sure that people continue to make good and proper choices. Right. that they've made for the last 18 to 22 years mm -hmm. make a good choice tonight or this weekend so that, so that this weekend is remembered as a time of celebration and Mother's Day, yeah. not a time where somebody made a bad choice. Right, and you know, with graduation, you don't want that graduation night to come and that to be your last night. Right. Like you want to continue on life right. and you don't want to make a, a silly decision on the roads mm -hmm. that could cause you to not see the rest of, you know, your life. And so making those decisions that you know, that's saving your life and anyone else's life because it's not just you on the road. That's right. And we have to understand that we're all in this together mm -hmm. and I'm responsible to, for how I drive to you just yeah. like you're responsible. Uh, for how you drive w with us and you know sometimes we're a consequence mm -hmm. and, and understand that when people go out and they drive they're making a conscious choice to yeah. speed to drive impaired to drive distracted or all three of them and those are the top three things that are causing our fatal traffic crashes is speed distracted and impairment and understand that when you get stopped it's because we saw you do something right a violation of the law mm -hmm. so you know we, we we want people to to understand that for the last again 18 to 22 years they've been writing a wonderful chapter in their life yeah this weekend we're going to turn the page you got a new New, new piece of paper to mm -hmm. start writing your life story on mm -hmm. so if, if things have been a little different difficult in the past well, this is a great opportunity this weekend on graduation to start fresh, but understand that, you know, the choices and decisions we make affect all of us. Right. And we all have to get through this thing and, and understand that we are accountable and, and that what we do affects all of us. Yeah. And, you know, you mentioned those three top things, the distraction, the impairment and the speeding. You know, how can we really combat those things and make those not a thing anymore. Is it just literally following the rules of the road or how can people are always on their phone. People are always driving fast because they feel like they need to get to mm -hmm. here or there. People feel like they need to drive impaired because they have to get it home. How do we stop that? Well, as far as the impairment, this is 2024. Mm -hmm. Take an Uber, call a designated sober driver. Yeah. You know, if, if your plans this weekend involve, uh, involve some form of intoxicant or impairment, Make sure that you've got a safe and sober driver and that they know that they're, that is their role right. this weekend. Um, but as far as the speeding and distract, those are, those are obvious choices yeah. that we make every day to speed, to, to drive distracted. Mm -hmm. And it does us no good in, in, you know, we continue to do it until it affects us. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, we got to do something. We got to do something, ramp up the, the, the awareness of these campaigns. Well, that's why I'm so grateful for you allowing mm -hmm. me to come in here and do this mm -hmm. and some of the other partners that we have that allow us to continually push that message. Right. Because you guys update traffic crashes all the time. You guys call me mm -hmm. and say, hey, what can you tell us about this? And 95% of the time it's speed distracted or impairment or a combination. Yeah. And from a law enforcement standpoint, it, it, it kind of takes a toll on us. Right. But you think about these small communities. When, when a basketball player or football player is injured or seriously mm -hmm. or killed in, in a traffic crash, what happens? Right. The community comes together and we have to do something. Mm -hmm. We're doing that right now. Yeah. So hopefully people will hear our message today and have a wonderful weekend. Yeah, and they will just live, they will live by that. And you know, that's, that's the goal is to have a wonderful right. weekend, but to make it to Monday and the mm -hmm. following day. Well, thank you so much for joining us thank on you. The Breakfast Show too. We'll be back in just a bit.